coat. No, it's weird. Wait, I can't. No, no, maybe no singing. Hey friends, uh, I need more coffee. We are going to be coating today a chrome extension. Why you ask? Because I've never done it. It's a super simple project and it's great for beginners who are learning JavaScript. Also, I really love this project because it's something that you can really customize to whatever kind of Chrome extension you want, which is really fun. Also, I need a little moment of breaking. Can we check out the Tiffin Tech mug? Like, general manager, is that me? I don't know if that's me, but we'll take it. Okay, let's get into it. Let's start coding. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, let's get started on our Chrome extension. Uh, I look a little different because after I filmed the intro, I wasn't feeling it and I just had a relaxing day. So we're gonna dive into it now. For this Chrome extension, there really is three things we need to do. One is create an index HTML file and make some kind of structure to this. The second is to create a script, so some JavaScript. And the third, which is unique or not unique just to, but in order to uh, make a Chrome extension, you need to have a manifest JSON file. And this is really a file that contains metadata about your Chrome extension. To start with, let's, as you can see on screen here, make an index.html file. Fun trick for you, in case you didn't know it, if you click on exclamation mark, enter, it will make the structure for a index.html file. I'm sure a lot of you already knew that, but it's a little tip if you didn't. All right, title, let's call this, I'm gonna call this Toronto, because I'm located in Toronto, but call it whatever city you want, because you can, with the API, get different cities. So Toronto concert lineup. Perfect. Okay, in the body here, let's have a div and let's have an h2 tag, which will contain our title, which will pretty much be the same thing. Well, let's call it actually Upcoming Toronto Concerts. And now we need to have an unordered list, which is really just going to contain the concerts, I guess you could say so, with an ID of and this could really be spec'd out further. This API we're going to use uses quite a bit of things. Uh, so right now we're just gonna grab a list of concerts that are upcoming for certain dates, but you could do things such as add into the extension, the dates that will be used, the URLs to sign up for the conferences. There's a ton of things, but the point of this tutorial is really to show you how to create a Chrome extension, give you a strong foundation so then you can kind of build it out how you want to. All right, this looks good for now. Now let's create a, okay, now let's also add in, oops, now let's also add in script, which will be, let's call it script.js. And let's make that file right now. Okay, in here we are going to create um, an async function called fetch data. And this is where we will be fetching the data from our API we will use which speaking of API, let's go to it. So I signed up for Rapid API, which I'm late to the game on, but I'm obsessed with. There are so many fun APIs to play around with. And for this, I used the concert. Here we go, concerts. So I was going to use Eventbrite for this, but when I was looking at the docs for Eventbrite, from my understanding, and I quickly scrolled through them, so I might've missed it, but from my understanding with Eventbrite, it has to be, you can only get back your uh, events that you created doesn't really make sense. So I found this API, uh, Artist Events Tracker, and I really liked it. It was just very simple. You can get upcoming events, uh, events of artists, past events, and I really wanted events by location, so that's what I did. And if you haven't used Rapid API before, it's super friendly. All you need to do is select which um, kind of endpoint you want, and for this one I said events by location. Then if I go down, you can see the name, which is uh, the name of where you want the events. So for me, I'm going to put in Toronto. And you can also select the uh, min date and max date. So for this, I'm just gonna do for the next upcoming days, otherwise it returns a really long list. So let's go today until, uh, let's go Wednesday. Why aren't you? Number of pages one, and then to test it out, I also wanna use JavaScript fetch for this, but like there's so many, it's really cool. Like I said, I'm kind of late to the game. So let me know some really cool APIs if you've played around on Rapid API that you really like. And if you haven't, well, here is your, a little bit of information to go check out Rapid API. This isn't sponsored by them or anything, but I just, I'm really excited that I found them. Okay, test endpoint. 
Okay, 25 items. And then you can see here. So what we will simply do is copy code, which includes our fetch um, of the API. We're passing in the options up here. And let's just add here, paste that in. Then if we go here, let's kind of update this a little bit. So you can see here right now we're doing fetch and passing in the options. I'm just gonna delete this for now and just start from scratch though. And let's give this a name, let's call it res for response. And let's await till we get the response of this API. Then we're going to have something called record, which will turn the response into a JSON. Perfect. Now let's just log out that record here. Okay, and then in order to see it, all you need to do is open your index.html file. Just on a different screen here. Hmm. This is not what we wanted. Where is, it should be showing a list here. Well, not here, but in the console. Let's see, what did we do wrong? We have a wait and we're passing in the options, yes. And then we have the record, a wait, response JSON. This is so embarrassing. You know what we didn't do? And I'm sure you're screaming at me, but this is why I'm being real. Like, let's just code together. And we were going so quickly here. We didn't even call the API. Okay, let's give this another try. Okay, perfect. As expected, nothing comes up on screen because we haven't passed anything in yet, but in our console, we can see 25 uh, objects and it includes a bunch of different uh, things, as I mentioned, from performers, uh, end date, description. So it's pretty cool. There's a lot of exciting bands coming up, I must say. Okay, now let's go back to our code though. And now what we need to do is let's simply uh, get the element by ID, which we created here, which is concerts. So, we go. And because this record is in an array uh, filled with objects, we're going to need to map over that. So map, and let's go item. Item dot name, and here we go. Okay. As you can see, we have the upcoming Toronto artist, but it doesn't look good in this way. So what I'm gonna do is just a bit more, um, I'm gonna go like this and make it a list items because right now it's making everything one list item. So let's go like this. And we will pass in item.name. And then what we need to do is simply join them together again. All right, this should be more like it. Let's see. Okay, this right now is just pretty simple, straight, well, very simple, straight, straightforward, uh, getting list items, unordered list items to come up. And you're like, okay, Tiff, like, this is not exciting at all, but just wait for the magic part of it. Okay, so I hope, I really wanted to do something very simple for this example for the purpose that it will show you really how you can put anything in here you want, whatever kind of content you want, you can make in this Chrome extension. And this is really where the magic comes in. So we need to create a manifest JSON file, manifest. And as I mentioned, this really just contains metadata. So we're going to do the name, which will be um, upcoming, Toronto concerts, and this is the name of the Chrome extension. Let's do version. So the version of it, let's do, uh, this is going to be the first one, 1.00. And description. This is an extension to look up. default pop-up, which will be our index. And default title, which again, let's make it upcoming Toronto concerts. Next up, open a new window and in Chrome here, navigate to more tools, extensions. 
From here, all you need to do is turn on developer mode, load unpacked, and you can see I was testing this out, but let's go to, where is it? Here we go. And just select the folder where your uh, extension is. And look how cool that is. It's so easy to do. Upcoming Toronto concerts. Amazing. So now if we go back, refresh, here we go. And we can see our upcoming Toronto concerts. How cool is that? As you can see, there's a lot more we can build onto this uh, from dates, from actually linking out so we can go get tickets for the concert. But I didn't want to make this video go on for too long. And I really wanted to show you just the implementation of getting a Chrome extension uh, and building it out and how simple it is. So leave in the comments if we should continue building this out and what the UI should look like or what other functionality we should include. Thank you all for watching. I hope you found this very helpful and uh, leave in the comments some Chrome extension ideas that you have that you might end up making. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you all soon. Thanks everyone.